Hey guys, this is Cameron the Wolf, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, we are going to be doing the tutorial on how to find all the mob heads and the pumpkin in the new lobby. So, the first step you want to do is you want to hit this lever. Once you hit that lever, you can head inside to this building, and this is where you'll find the first head, okay? So, you want to go into this room, and you want to go down here. Inside this painting will be the first pumpkin, the head, first head, and it's a pumpkin. Easy as that, guys. So the next you see this paint, uh, this item frame, it has a bucket that's pointing to the bottom right. So you want to go upstairs in this building. And this will open up the other uh, door that's in the uh, on the left. So once you do that, you can go all the way back downstairs into this door and you can go down the stairs on this side once you do that you can hit the button right here and it will turn off this water what that means is the fountain outside is turned off which you will definitely need because that is how you get downstairs to the old lobby that will have the last mob head that you will need so the first mob head that we'll be actually getting is the Steve head so I'm going to do these first because I totally forget what that one is. I think it's straight. So the iron, no, the iron straight. This is to the top left, I'm pretty sure. And this is bottom right. No, but, uh, this is to the right. So iron, uh, diamond sword to the right, gold sword to the top right, iron sword to the top middle, and then the stone sword to the top left. And that is how you open up the Steve head. So I'm going to grab two because I'm just going to show you that I have all the mob heads when I'm finished. So let's go to the other side. And this will be the zombie head. This took forever to do, guys, just so you guys know. Um, you, I'm pretty sure you had to go around and find all the things right here in the map and count them and that would be how many hits you would have to uh, press a button to make the thing open so I believe this is two one two this is four one two three four this is two and then this is two I'm gonna wait a second and it should open up. If it doesn't, then I'm going to press this twice. I don't know why, okay? Because you go through this. I'm guessing the emerald is... I don't know. So it's 2, 4, 2, 2. And I think that's 2. And then it goes... It might be 6 combination. Which it might go 2, 4, 2, 2. And then 2, 2. And it will open up that. But I'm... I, so that might be it, okay? But you guys saw me open it, so <laughs> it's open, okay? That's all that matters. So the third mob head is you will need this bow, and you want to jump down here, and you want to hit that button right there. Ah, we're so close. Oh, no, I, I did hit it. I don't think I'll be able to get two without the arrow despawning, so we're just going to go to the next mob head, which is the wither skeleton skull which is in the nether which uh, you want to go to this tower on the left you want to go up the stairs till you see a opening in the wall which should be right here and basically you just want to hit that lever jump down and voila you are in the nether now and basically you just jump down right here and there's the wither skeleton skulls that you can have okay guys i am back Sorry, this totally uh, quit recording for some reason. When I realized this, I was halfway done with editing my video. I don't know why I'm coming down here. But we just got the Wither Skeleton Skull. So what you want to do now is you want to go all the way up these stairs. Okay? You want to go all the way up these stairs. What's having to re-record this is I got two Skeleton Skulls now. Yay. So you want to put the arrow down on this pressure plate right there. And then, 
what you want to do is just jump out this window all the way down and then run to the other side and you want to place the arrow on the other presser plate so you just want to go up these stairs and just go into this and now we just gotta run all the way up these stairs now which is so much fun you know a lot of running is involved and then the pressure plate is before us and we just throw this arrow right on top of that and that should come down in a second Is the other one? I don't know if the other arrow's on it. It doesn't look like it. Whoa. Okay. Well, let me see again. Okay, well, let me run to the other side now. Ah, oh, why? It looks like I might have to re record this again. Oh, no. Okay, let's see. Come on. If this doesn't work, then I have no clue how I got this, the creeper skeleton. Oh, why, why am I saying creeper skeleton? <laughs> oh, man. Ah. Oh, no. I'm getting stuck on the wood. Oh, see, I wasn't. Okay, there you guys go. You guys see it, okay? You just have to make sure the <laughs> make sure you throw it on the presser plate. So now you just run down all the way down the here, you know, and grab the last mob head. So now after you get the mob head, boom, look at that, guys. We have it, okay? So all you want to do is you want to come over here, press the lever. This will open the way down to the old lobby. And all you want to do is place one of each in the chest which is connected to a hopper and will open up you know these iron doors right here once you do that all you want to do is walk in and we have arrived to the chamber where we will get our ender dragon head and as you can see we have it on and that is it guys there you guys go we have all the mob heads in the game we have the ender dragon head we have this zombie head skeleton skull the head, the wither skeleton skull, the pumpkin, and the creeper head. And that is it. And there you guys go. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial on getting the mob heads. Uh, even though apparently I'm failing at two of them, you know. But that's okay, because you guys do know how to do it now. And I appreciate you guys watching this video. And now I definitely appreciate it if you leave a like. This is Cameron the Wolf, and I will catch you guys next time. And... Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.